Alrighty, so I have a really packed update uh, for you guys today. To start it off for just basic background footage as I talk, I'll let you guys watch Vortex testing. Um, you're gonna see another video probably an hour after this one uploads with a lot of rides testing at Canada's Wonderland. We got to film yesterday and we got a lot of the rides um, running for you guys. Now, with that noted, Dragonfire and Mindbuster were only running one train for training. Uh, to be honest, at first I was like, that's really weird. Are they just gonna start off the season with one train? Cause we've seen that at Carowinds and that could be a possibility, but we do know based off of what we're seeing that maintenance could be a little bit behind at Canada's Wonderland. Again, Canada's Wonderland's opening a little earlier than it typically is and the weather hasn't worked in their favor. Um, so on top of that, they probably just wanted one train on the track at minimum so the uh, crews could be trained and then they'll get the second trains added on over the next couple weeks before opening. Um, but it very well could pull a Carowinds where some rides open with one train just because they're a little bit behind um, due to COVID and the weather and circumstances. But nonetheless, um, with that being said, Leviathan is still not running. Um, and with the extensive work that we saw done to it, welding, um, and looking and the trains being on the track with plastic wrap still separating them uh, One is to question is the ride gonna be up and running for opening and the answer is an obvious Yes, it will be up and running for opening um, for anyone that knows Canada's Wonderland and has followed my updates on Canada's Wonderland Canada's Wonderland always gets things done um, I can't go into details of what I know maintenance wise but I do know that if they do fall behind on certain things, Wonderland will do things in order to fix those things that they are falling far behind on and they will catch back up. For example, in the today's update, you're gonna see how quickly the restaurant is moving now. Um, but before I continue talking about all that, I wanna show you guys that clip of Vortex. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that it is taken so well care of. Um, and for some reason, I don't know if it's just because I missed the park, it looks like it's running really well this year. So I'm really excited to get in there and check that out. Now, update on the Splashworks renovation. This is why I love Cedar Fair. It is definitely gonna be a Timber Kits patio based off of what we're seeing with some really nice rock work theming. Cedar Fair seems to be really focusing on attention to detail at Canada's Wonderland now, and I'm here for it. I will go even another year without another ride addition if they continue this trend. Like next year, if there's no new ride for 2023, and they're gonna renovate the rest of the buildings um, to make them look nicer, hey, I'm all for it. Even if we get one, a restaurant and those renovations again, I'm okay with that because the park is starting to look really awesome. And again, I have a video coming out about what's going on at Canada's Wonderland in terms of going back to its original roots. And I'm here for all of it. Now, the steel framework is going up for the timber kits, I assume. I have not been told if it's timber kits by anyone, but I assume the timber kits themed building. Um, I think it's called Mountain Bear Lodge. Not a huge fan of the name personally, but it makes sense. Um, but the, the steel frame is going up um, and then they'll attach the theming on the outside. Again, there are some pretty cool things about this building. There's gonna be certain aspects of this building that haven't been announced yet. Um, I guess I'll drop a few hints, maybe a bar, maybe a photo op, um, not of Yukon, just a photo op on the building. Um, those kinds of various things. And then you have your Cookie Witch building and your uh, Coke Zero stand. Also appears that Wonderland will be launching new menus across the park, uh, focusing on in elevating that food experience, which is really nice to hear because Canada's Wonderland has been kind of famous for not serving the bestest food um, in the park at certain locations. The chicken tenders and fries was overused. So I'm really liking that they're gonna start serving pub food at the old marketplace building. Um, so super excited about that. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what happens with Action Zone. You're gonna hear me talking about that a lot over the next couple years because I honestly am pretty close to willing to put money down on Action Zone's time at the park being extremely limited, and I'm super excited about that. But nonetheless, I am also super confident that we are getting a new ride in 2023. I know that you heard me talk about um, I'd be okay if it was just a restaurant, but I do know that there is a ride coming in 2023, and we're pretty confident on the location now. So you're gonna see us definitely run to that area. No one else is gonna know about it, but um, you'll see it here and we're gonna post on our Instagram story on opening day too because I can confirm there has been a little bit of action 
um, and there should be something to film. So super excited to show you guys that. Um, as well as the restaurant, we're getting, seeing a lot of comments. The restaurant is not planned to open for opening. It never was. Um, from what I understand, the restaurant is planned to open very late spring, early summer, and they are on track for that, um, is my understanding. So I would expect this to be open at earliest, May 2-4 weekend. Um, a lot of people still think fireworks are going to take place where they originally do. I honestly, I don't see it. The park has even said they're going to do it. I honestly don't see it. Normally there's like literally 5,000 people gathered on this hill. So uh, I'd be really, really interested to see their logistics in planning in terms of pulling that off. It would just make sense to me to do what Paramount did and do them off of the mountain with some sort of kind of like water show, turn it into an entire entertainment package versus just launching them off from Splashworks with now a building um, in the way of view and there being hardly any space behind the building to watch them. The balcony is literally going to hold probably like 100 people at max, if that. So it's just not going to work. I honestly, like, just not to sound negative, I just don't see their planning behind doing the fireworks in the same location. Um, but maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. I would love to see it on top of the mountain now like they did for the eruption show during the Paramount A era. Um, but I think that's it. Again, stay tuned. There's going to be another video of rides testing. Thanks so much. Have a good Easter weekend. Bye.